What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Cleveland Browns franchise in Madden 16. Year 2 is here and the preseason is about to go down. We're going to get started with the Browns at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. We're going to showcase some good and some bad. You're going to see Johnny Manziel. You're going to see our 5th round pick Neil Gordon. And you're also going to see our rookie running back. Taylor Estes and we're gonna get started here the Browns will kick off to PJ Jordan and year two preseason is underway and the kick sails out of the back of the end zone and Philly will get this one started on offense their starting quarterback Tyrod Taylor is gonna hand off to DeMarco Murray up the middle and Murray will gain 12 on his first carry of the preseason First and 10, Taylor going to the air, and his first pass going deep, and it's going to be caught by Aguilar for a first down, down to the Cleveland 17, Dante Whitner getting beat on that one, and this would lead to first and goal, and Ryan Matthews, a walk-in touchdown, and just like that, the Eagles on top, 7-0. Browns get their first shot. Manziel on second and five will find newly acquired wide receiver Charles Johnson for the first down. And that's going to set up first and ten. Later, third and three. Play action from Manziel being pressured but dumping it off to newly acquired tight end Joseph Fourier. And it's another first down. First and ten from the 32 of Philly. Manziel is going to be picked off and that one would be returned out to the 30. A face mask would set them up inside Brown's territory on second down. Murray breaking two tackles here and down the sideline he goes inside the 20 down to the 17 and that will set them up eventually first and goal and Ryan Matthews will break a tackle to get his second touchdown of the first quarter and the Eagles are up 14-0. Manziel comes back out after that interception. Those interceptions plagued him last year, but he's going to do it again here in the first quarter. Picked off by Jinx Jenkins and returned all the way back to the end zone for a pick six. And would you know it, just like that, it's 21-0 Philly. As you see, Terrence West here take off for a gain of 12. That's the first we've seen him in the preseason. Third and eight, Manziel going to the air here, going deep, and it's incomplete, but a flag. Defensive pass interference would lead to a Cleveland field goal, and we move to the second quarter. Our rookies are in, our backups are in, and Estes has got a gain of nine. First and ten now. Neil Gordon going to try and dump it off here. I believe that was to Hawkins, but it's going to be incomplete. Third and six, Neil Gordon back to the air. Here will fire and off the mark intended for Hawkins. And the Browns will have to punt it away later in the second. Matt Barkley in now for the Eagles. Will scramble and he's going to be taken down and sacked by Nate Orchard. Second down and four now as the Browns have the ball. A pitch out to Estes and he's got the first down and more down the sideline. It's a gain of 21, and Estes showing his speed. Later in the drive, Neil Gordon, he's going to be pressured, and he's going to go down, sacked by Hart, and that would eventually lead to second and 18. Neil Gordon going to pass here, finding rookie tight end Brady Blake for the touchdown, and the Browns get a touchdown on the board and are down 21-10 now. Matt Barkley, first and ten as they take over. It's going to be picked off by Kendall James. And Kendall James will return this one all the way back for a pick six. And the Browns, 17 unanswered points, are back in this one as we get to the third quarter. Neil Gordon going to find Brian Hartline for the first down catch. And that'll set him up towards midfield. First and ten, Gordon to the air will dump it off to Brady Blake. And he's using his muscle to get close to the first down. A couple yards short, they would pick it up. Second and five now in Eagles territory. Going deep, Gordon has a man open, but it's off his fingers and incomplete. Not Gordon's fault on that one. 
Third and 14, back to the air, back to the end zone, and almost caught for a touchdown by Maley, but incomplete. And the Browns will settle for a field goal. It's 21-20 Philly as they take over. And a nice open field tackle here by Poyer. Third and three now for the Eagles. Barkley back to the air will fire. And it is broken up. Incomplete. And that's going to give the Browns the ball back here later in the third. Play action from Gordon. Throwing it up and it's caught by Brady Blake. First down. Browns, first and 15 now from the 47 of Philly. Gordon going to the air, and he has a man open, but Blake can't hold on to it. It's incomplete, and we would settle for a 52-yard attempt. The kick is up, and the field goal is good, and we take the 23-21 lead. 23 unanswered points by the Browns. Matt Barkley now for the Eagles will dump it off to Matthews, and he is stopped, caught by... Russell, the rookie, and that is going to give the Browns the ball back, but Gordon's going to get picked off by Watkins here, and it's going to be returned for a touchdown. So now both Manziel and Gordon have pick sixes to their name. First and ten, back to the air. Gordon firing and caught by his receiver for a first down. He's 9 for 16 for 124. Second down and six as we enter the fourth quarter. Gordon to the air will fire, dumping it off to Duke Johnson, who's out of bounds at the 44 of Philly. First and 10. Gordon to the air, lobbing this one up, and it's going to be picked off by Watkins again, and he's down the sideline. He will return this one all the way for another pick six. Gordon throws two of them. Manziel throws one. And it's 35-23 now as the Eagles take over midway in the fourth quarter. Ryan Matthews getting stopped on third down. Connor Shaw now in for the Browns. He's going to pitch it out to Duke Johnson, who's going to get the edge. And he's going to end up picking up 14 yards. First and 10 now from their own 34. Shaw to pass here. Will fire, dump it off to Estes. And Estes... Will uses muscle to get the first down. It wouldn't lead to any points, though. And the Eagles would take over. And Matt Barkley goes down, sacked by Poyer and Archer Orchard. Second and four now. Connor Shaw going to be picked off by Copeland. And Copeland will return it to the end zone. Another pick six. Fourth on the day. And the Browns will lose this one 45-23. That will bring us to preseason week two where the Browns are on the road in Sports Authority Field to take on the Denver Broncos. And it's going to be Neil Gordon getting the reps with the first team here in this game. We want to get a look at him. Johnny Manziel will get play in the second and third quarters as Gordon goes play action here to start the game on third and ten and goes deep to Josh Gordon. Gordon to Gordon for the first down on third down. And that will eventually bring up another long third down. Third and 21. Gordon to the air. And his pass way offline and out of bounds. That would give the Broncos a chance here. And starting quarterback Nick Foles is going to be picked off by Joe Hayden here on second down. And Hayden's going to find running room all the way back to the end zone for the pick six. And just like that, it is 7 0 Cleveland. Broncos have the ball here back after that pick six. Foles going deep again. And he is going to be incomplete here, but a flag on the play. Pass interference is going to set them up inside the 30. And Foles deep down the center will be knocked down there by the middle linebacker. I believe that was Cavell Connor. And that would lead to a field goal. Going deep again, Nick Foles later in the first. And he's going to be picked off again, this time by Kawan Williams. And the Browns get another takeaway. And they would start this drive at the five. Hand off to Terrence West. And West finding running room outside will pick up the first down. A gain of 13. 
But that drive would stall. The Broncos would get the ball back, and Foles pass batted down at the line. And their drive would stall as well. Second quarter, Manziel's in the game now, or Neil Gordon's still in the game, going deep, and Estes cannot reel in that catch. And the Browns' drive stalls. Backups in for the Broncos now, and Virgil Green making that catch up towards midfield. The Broncos are driving here, third and 16. Matt McGloin, the backup, looking, going deep, and caught by Rod Streeter. Bakari Rambo, not very good coverage there. Third and goal, and McGloin going to the air. He's going to go to the end zone, and it's picked off by Rambo, recovering from his previous mistake. Leaving Streeter open. He is down the sideline inside the 30, 20, 15, 5. Touchdown, Bakari Rambo. 99 yards. What a turnaround for him after leaving Rod Streeter wide open. It's 14 to 3 now as Carlos Danby is going to sack McGloin. And they are going to have to stall that drive and punt. But later on in the second, they're going to hand it off to Monte Ball. And Ball will pick up nine. They would get the first down later in the drive. McGloin to the air will fire and caught by Streeter. And this pass offense of the Broncos giving our defense some fits here. From the 15 of Cleveland, McGloin going to the air, looking, firing. And it's going to be caught by Streeter in the end zone. The Broncos get a touchdown on the board. And it's going to be 14 to 10. Browns with a minute to go in that half. We'll get something going here. We got a pass interference penalty on the Broncos defense. First and 10 from the 45. They're going to pitch it out to Estes here. He's going to get some running room and he's going to get close to the first down marker. And they would eventually get the first down. First and 10 with 30 seconds to go. Manziel's pass is off the mark just a hair. But another pass interference would lead to a field goal. And we move to the third quarter. McGloin finding Virgil Green once again over the middle for a big first down. Second and 14. McGloin to the air here. And he's going to find Green once again. Our defense has had problems this preseason with tight ends through these first two games. McGloin back to the air and back to Rod Streeter for the first down. McGloin almost 200 yards passing in this game. First and goal. He's going to cap it off with a touchdown. I believe that is to Caldwell. And the Broncos have tied this one at 17 apiece. Manziel now looking to get some reps in here and solidify his uh, chance for the starting quarterback position. That is not going to help that wide receiver dropping that wide open pass. McGloin, as the Broncos take over, finds Virgil Green again, streaking down the middle of the field. And another big pickup by the Broncos' tight end. Second and four, Monte Ball's going to get the carry, and he has lots of running room up the middle, down to the 20. And the Broncos now inside the five on first and goal. To the air, and it's a touchdown for Ricardo Lockett. And Matt McGloin has another touchdown, his third on the day. And the Broncos will take the lead 24-17 as Manziel and the Browns take over. Brian Hartline reels in this catch. And Manziel is 8 for 9 on the day. First and 10 as we've entered the fourth quarter. And his pass off the mark incomplete. Second down and 10 on this drive from the 30 of Denver. Manziel will fire and it's caught by Andrew Hawkins. The first down for the Browns. And Manziel looking good here in his time. Manziel steps up in the pocket this time and is going to take off here. Go heading for the sideline, but hit short of the first down. But he is down on the ground, injured. And we are going to have to wait for an update on Johnny Manziel. Connor Shaw is going to come in now in relief. And his first play is a pass. And it's going to be a touchdown to Terrence West. And the Browns have tied this game up at 24 apiece. And Manziel, broken ribs, will not be able to return to this game. We do not know how long he will be out. So he may, may not be able to be the starter in week one or next week 
when we set up for our showcase game in the preseason as Virgil Green reels in another catch. McGloin goes back to the air here. He is going to take off, though, down the sideline. He's got the first down and slides down at the Browns 37. Later in the red zone, McGloin to the air, and he's going to find Owen Daniels, the other tight end for the touchdown. And these Denver tight ends are killing the Browns' defense. And they take the lead, 31-24, as Connor Shaw is going to go deep here to his wide receiver for a first down, keeping this drive going. Second down and four. Shaw back to the air, going deep, and it is caught by Andrew Hawkins. Connor Shaw making big passes down the middle of the field. Third and four, though. Connor has to go to the air here. He's scrambling around, throwing this one, and it's caught by the defense. Studenbacher is going to take this one back, and Connor Shaw has a shot at him, but whiffs, and Studebaker is going to take this one all the way back for a pick six, and that is the story of the game. That's how it ends. Broncos win it 38-24 to over the Browns. And the Browns' offense looked pretty good in this game. Gordon, Neil Gordon didn't have a great day. Johnny Manziel was pretty good till he got injured. Connor Shaw was good till that pick six. And our defense was killed in the passing game, especially by the tight ends. And for Johnny Manziel, it's broken ribs, and he is out for three weeks. I believe his return date would be week one. So it will be Neil Gordon in week three getting the first team reps. Probably play him for the first three quarters, seeing as though he needs a lot of experience and a lot of reps to get up to speed with this team. We did sign Kurt Cousins to the roster for our third quarterback for now. He will compete with Connor Shaw for the third spot on the team during the final two preseason games, but it will be Neil Gordon starting for the Cleveland Browns in week three of the preseason at home against the Jaguars. Leave your comments down below about how we play these first two games of the preseason and what you think about who should be the starter. Obviously, with the Manziel injury, Neil Gordon has to start week three, but Manziel should be healthy for week one of the season, I believe. Should Neil Gordon start? Should Johnny Manziel start? Leave those comments down below. Leave a like on this video if you did like it and share it. And if you have not already done so, subscribe to be notified of all my new videos. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter at Madden Ballers. And we'll catch you guys in the next two episodes of the preseason.